guys oh my gosh i have so much to tell you guys about i have so much to catch you guys up on and 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 so many stories from the keepers and the scientists and the tour guides who work at the san diego safari park and the san diego zoo to share with you i am blown away i feel i feel like i had one of the most special opportunities i have ever had in my entire life and i am so excited because i get to share it with you i i'm so happy you guys i am so freaking happy and for those of you who don't know why i'm so happy i'm back i'm back planet zoo aka frontier games invited me to san diego so that we could do a really fun secret project that you guys will find out about in a a little bit here and so it's gonna be a couple more weeks at least I think maybe mm -hmm. yeah, it's gonna be a little while before you find out about the secret planet zoo project but I can tell you guys quite a bit about my sheer excitement my love of all of the fantastic projects that I got to get to explore I can tell you quite a bit about how the trip went and sort of get you hyped for a whole bunch of changes new things exciting opportunities that I really hope will be showing up here in our pixel biology community pretty soon including actually playing with the pixels involved in planet zoo i literally just got home and chips and i are actually kind of recovering from the predictable trials of travel having gone to twitchcon and having been around probably a million children uh, at the zoo in the safari park we've both picked up a bug so i'm gonna make this short and sweet and let you guys know that it was the most amazing transformational trip i have gone on and then go back to resting i have to have copious amounts of green tea just to get me on my feet long enough to tell you guys I'm home <laughs> so all right so I will get to it uh, as you guys know planet zoo aka frontier invited me out for the secret project that you guys will be seeing in a while can't tell you when can't tell you what but I can tell you that we had a fantastic time at TwitchCon. We popped over there, and as you guys can see from the archive video we have here on the YouTube channel, that I had an amazing time, and Chips, my beloved, after seven years of doing this, finally appeared on a video with me. And by appeared, I mean his voice was there. <laughs> So Chip's the love of my life, my best friend. He went with me on this adventure and it was something special. Oh my gosh. Not only did I have the wonderful opportunity to meet some of the community managers and techs behind the Planet Zoo game, not only did I have the great opportunity to meet many other of the YouTubers who were there as well uh, for TwitchCon and for all of the events that were happening, but I also had the opportunity to go where Chips would say is my home, <laughs> to find my people. And I have spent the last week among my people, those people being educators, those people being the zookeepers, the tour guides, the scientists. And it was really one of the most transformational things I have ever, ever done. So a huge thank you to Frontier Games and the Planet Zoo crew for having invited me out there and giving me that opportunity to work on Secret Project and to work on streaming at TwitchCon, which was quite fun. If you guys went, I hope you had a great time. It looked like everybody was having a fantastic time. I'd be happy to talk more about my first TwitchCon experience at some point, but for now I want to tell you guys where my heart just was ecstatic. And that was at the San Diego Zoo and the San Diego Safari Park, both of which deserve their world gold standard acclaim for being some of the best institutions for the animal welfare, for the outreach programs, for the education that they offer. And basically, we were invited for three days to San Diego and Chips and I stayed for a week and we spent every single day at the safari park or the zoo. I had the opportunity to arrange some private behind the scenes tours with just Chips and I. I had the opportunity to meet and talk with and really kind of personally interview a lot of the keepers, a lot of the guides, a lot of the scientists who actually are working on huge and important projects with the frozen zoo, working on conserving endangered species that exist only in zoos now as their protective hub. I had the opportunity to be able to see up close and personal my favorite animal ever, the giraffes, 
and I got to speak for a week with people whose heart is exactly where mine is too on doing our best to try to share a passion for this world. And there I found my friends, the truth of our community too. There, meeting with those people for a week, being able to talk with them and see their eyes light up as I truly was sincerely excited about everything from like a desert tortoise all the way to the bent wrongs uh, and you know, the tree kangaroos. And it was amazing because there's just something so rewarding about sharing that passion with others. That's why we're here. That's why we have the pixel biology community. That's why I've done this for as long as I have. And for a week, solid, I got to visit with other people just like us who have that passion, who have dedicated their lives to taking care of just the elephants, just the lemurs at this facility, who have traveled the world to help out the animals in other countries and have promoted so many of the different conservation groups that the San Diego Zoo pours their money into. They're a nonprofit, so all of the money that you pour into them, they turn around and they put into making sure they have the best of the best facilities, the best employees with the most dedication and heart and into so many global projects that I learned about. We often talk so easily here in our community about how much we love the natural world, about how much we love animals, and it's so easy to talk about it because as they say, cheap, like talk is cheap, you know? It's important to talk about these things. It is totally valid to just talk and be like, yeah, I love tigers, and then it is just thrilling to have gone there and have been able to speak with the keepers and speak with the people who not only love tigers but have dedicated their life to educating people about them to trying to educate people about palm oil use to educate people about working on trying to shift where we're going on climate change and to meet with those others <laughs> it was invigorating it was thrilling and it reminded me of what the heart of our community for me is really about we have evolved into being a place that's also about storytelling about telling stories amongst one another about different fandoms that we have incorporated and kind of folded in and been like yeah come on wolf quest come on warrior cats but if you notice almost everything we do even in my sims games <laughs> comes down to a root of passion for the stories of the natural world. And I feel like I have been reminded of that passion and I have been reminded of the potential that we have. Because one of the most amazing things about this trip wasn't just the opportunities that I had, you guys. It was going and speaking with these people who have dedicated their life's work and their legacies to actually putting their actions and their heart where their, their talk was of, of saying like, I love a tiger, uh, I love the desert tortoise, the Albanian desert tortoise, and then actually following through with trying to start different conservation groups, with raising funds, with physically caring for the animal ambassadors, with going to their homes, their native homes, and doing their best to support lobbying and legislation to protect them in their native home. And it was so amazing to be around those people, and one of the most powerful moments was when I realized just how excited those people, you guys, were about you. When I told them what I do, and when I told them about our community, without fail, every single one of these people, from the, the keepers who started their volunteering and have now been able to get education to work with the animals, to the scientists with PhDs that plastered the wall, every single one of those people were so happy to know that you guys are here they were thrilled to know that you are part of our community and they were so hopeful you could see it in their eyes they told me to my face how excited they were to know that you guys and our community exist because it gives them hope just like seeing them gave me hope for what we could do for this amazing world, for the, the true genuine passion I have for the natural world and for the activism that I used to be a big part of and the conservation I, I have volunteered and been a big part of in the past. It brought all of that, that fuller part of myself to life and reminded me, oh yeah, we're not just a YouTube community here. We are a storytelling community 
who loves the natural world and we try to really put our actions where our heart is and being able to, to show our channel to them being able to tell them about you guys it was so inspiring to see hope in their eyes because these people are doing the hard work of going and doing legislation they're doing the hard work of outreach grant raising things that kind of make our eyes glaze over as soon as you start hearing about the bureaucracy and the difficulty of it and yet they give me hope because they're doing the hard work and to know that you guys gave them hope was powerful and fantastic because the most important thing that all of them wanted was just for people to share that passion and that appreciation for just pe for people to start making a few little changes in their life that add up and snowball into something that can save entire species and ecosystems and that is where i've been for a week <laughs> that is where this opportunity that frontier extended to me led me and then chips and i kind of grabbed hands and we jumped deep into this and i just want to say thank you Thank you so much because you guys coming together and starting slowly but surely to add your voices, your attention to our community made it so that Frontier gave me this opportunity and it made it so that now after speaking with so many of the different people who are doing their absolute best and pushing themselves as far as they can go on their efforts to take care of so many creatures, so many ecosystems, now you guys and I have a very special opportunity in our hands to try to take our community and do something great with it. Even if it seems as simple as just teaching you guys what a Binturong is, <laughs> even if it seems as simple as like, what if all of us gave up meat for one day a week? What if all of us made sure that we always have a reusable bag? What if all of us just stopped using disposable straws and got a stainless steel straw? Those tiny, tiny things add up. And more importantly, what if all of us could share the passion that we have for whatever we really love with people in the world, the way that these people and I had the opportunity to share to each other. We really had an amazing encounter, Chips and I, with every single person we met. And what we noticed is as soon as we kind of pulled back the curtain, as soon as I just dove in there, and you could see the change that I wasn't just a tourist. I wasn't just somebody getting a tour and like a little VIP thing. I was somebody who really cared. As soon as they saw that, it was a physical change. It was sheer excitement and it was hope. <laughs> and I hope that we can do that with our community moving forward. I hope I can continue despite my shy self, despite the fact that I started off as like literally a basement dwelling introvert who was terrified of the world. Year after year after year of just kind of peeling back the curtains and being bold and brave with the things that I am passionate about have led us to this point. And I really hope that as we continue to evolve and grow as a community, what I can start to focus on more are the things that I know I have genuine passion for. Not only our storytelling, though that will always be the bulk of what we do here, but continuing to add in some stuff to show you guys how my passion in our stories is directly correlated to the passion I have about this planet that we share, about stewarding it into the future. And yeah, this is, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And I really hope that as we move forward, I can even work really hard to try to unite some of our, our attention and unite some of the effort that I put into all of this that, that we work together to grow our community with. And we can make some real changes in the world. And I'm just thrilled. But there's my spiel about where I've been and it has clearly had a profound deep effect on me. <laughs> but it reminded me of who I really am on a genuine level and it reminded me of the work that is yet to be done and most importantly in this day in this age and in this era of everything feeling complicated and hopeless of feeling like the world is literally on fire and falling apart around us <laughs> this trip and talking with those people and seeing how ecstatic they were about you seeing how hopeful they were not to change the world with super complicated things but just to have the opportunity to, to teach you 
about one simple thing about a giraffe or a rhino to teach you about just one thing that they really feel will share that passion it's amazing <laughs> it's hopeful i spent this last week learning about hope and i have that hope because of you and i have that hope because of sharing our passions and i really really feel that if i can just hold on to this if i can just work more with you guys and work more with them then we can try to move forward with hope and that's what i wanted to just tell you guys before i uh, straight off the plane like tired exhausted needing to lie down because my doctor's like you caught a virus from one of the children at the zoo no doubt i had to tell you guys about hope about this our community to me now represents hope not just numbers not just fancy metal things that sit on my wall not just opportunities to like fly to twitchcon hope <laughs> oh, and maybe that's really ambitious but one of the other things i learned on this trip is that we don't have to fix all of it ourselves there are people out there who are working very hard to do their best to patch together entire ecosystems and to hold it together and all they need from us isn't even that much they just need a little bit of attention and awareness they just need a few tiny little changes in our lives and then then there's hope <laughs> so there we go that's 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 just really where i want to move forward with everything which doesn't mean i'm going to change like our whole channel or anything but those of you who have been around a long time have known that this thread has always been there and this trip has just reminded me that we don't have to despair that i don't have to just kind of tuck my head down and focus on like i guess i'll just try to be a good youtuber because the world's burning and i don't know what to do that there's still hope that there's still small things we can do together and that at the end of the day things are as simple and can be the, the true changes that can be sparked are as simple as just speaking up about the things that we're really passionate for and working from there <laughs> the true change begins with putting our heart forward it doesn't have to be saving the whole world at once we can start there we can start by playing video games and we can start by trying to take care of our digital pets <laughs> and then work from there to just have a ripple to hopefully change a lot more so that probably made no sense i no doubt have a fever i'm extremely excited <laughs> and i cannot wait to tell you guys more about binturongs i cannot wait to fold in more animal facts and links to different charities and different conservation groups that i hope we can start funneling like all of my my tips from our streams and stuff like that towards there's gonna be you'll notice more effort put in to try to really promote some of the wonders of our world through our medium of video games it's important to have a niche <laughs> and i really just hope it gives you guys hope I get on Twitter every day and feel like everything's blown up. And then it's easy to forget that you just can't give up. You just have to keep moving forward, hoping and acting for the best. So I'm gonna continue moving forward, hoping and acting for the best. I don't know how that will show up on our channel, but I just really hope that you guys will know that under all of the things you see under the episodes of wild craft that i primarily make because my niece loves them by the way and under the insights that i've added to almost every single video to try to promote a real life fact about the world is passion is love is commitment is a, a sense of responsibility and stewardship for this planet that in my own silly weird little way i'm trying to promote and that i really feel that all of us can find our own silly weird little ways and if you think that you can't do something to help change this world and take care of the things we love just remember siri has apparently had an effect literally by building a minecraft zoo and carrying forward for years <laughs> so if we can change the world through just playing video games and building a community around that then i think all of us can find a small thing that will have a profound effect 
So I'm gonna go lay down. My green tea is wearing off and the sheer exhaustion of traveling to the other side of the country is catching up with me. But we will soon be diving into even more of our stories. I'm really excited to pick out some of the things that I wanna see through the autumn season with October, November, and December's lineup of awesome games coming out and games I haven't played yet. I can't wait to share some of the pictures and videos with you guys that I have snagged from our big tour at the zoo. And hopefully we'll have some streams over on TwitchCon when I am feeling better or TwitchCon on Twitch when I'm feeling better to just tell you guys some of the cool things that I saw when I was at the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park. <sighs> yeah. All right, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Move forward with hope and just try to grow towards that. And always, always, always stay curious. Bye, guys. <laughs>